I'm going to give you an equation to solve and the possible answers will be either everything will clear out, the answer will be all real numbers, or the variables will clear, leaving us with numbers that do not clear, no solution on that one. Or we'll be able to move our variable first and then our number secondly, and we'll solve and get a real number answer. And then we'll move the variables on the last one and the numbers, the variable will still be there, but the numbers themselves will clear out. And when you have variable with no numbers, the answer is zero. All right, here comes your first one. Let's distribute first. We'll combine like terms if we have to, then we're going to start moving things. We have 7x plus 14 equal 14 plus 7x. Always start with your variable, because if you lose your variable, it doesn't really matter what happens after that, does it? All right, I'm getting ready to move my 7x's. Oh, look at that. It doesn't matter which way I go. If I do a negative seven, they clear out. Okay, those clear out. And the 14s, no matter which way I go, they're gonna clear out. So it looks to me like everything cleared out. And so I say to you, all clear. And you say, all real numbers. Okay, all clear, all real numbers. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's try another one. Okay, this time I'm going to give you 5, and we're going to say x minus 4 minus 4x equal 12. Okay, let's distribute first, and then we'll see what we need to do next. We have 5x minus 20 minus 4x equal 12. Look what we got here. We gotta do some combining before we move any, any of those numbers. So we have a five and a negative four, which makes one x. One x minus 20 equal 12. Now we're back to one of those beginning kind of problems. Let's just add the opposite on that 20 and move them to the other side. So I'm gonna do a plus 20 to clear and a positive 20. So x will equal 12 plus 20, 32. So in this case, we, com we combined our variables, which happened to all be on one side. We moved the numbers to the other side, and we were able to solve, and the only answer to this is x is 32. So if I go back and sub it in into this problem, the only thing that will work for x in this equation is x is 32. Good. All right, let's go for this one. I'm gonna go a negative five this time. X plus four equal a negative five. Three plus X plus four. Whew, we've got some distribution to do and maybe some combined like terms. Okay, here we go, you ready? Negative five times X is a negative five X Negative five times a positive four is a negative 20. Okay, that looks pretty good, nothing to combine there. And over here, we have a negative 15, because a negative five times three is a negative 15. And then we have a negative five X, because that's a negative five times a one X, that's a negative five X plus four. Okay, that side does not look quite as good as the left-hand side. So a negative 5x minus 20 equal. Now what do we have to do? We've got to combine a negative 15 and a positive 4, don't we? Well, a negative 15 and a positive 4, the difference is, what, 11? That's a negative 11. So I'm going to do a negative 11 minus 5x. All right. Now, I think we have distributed. We've combined like terms. Now it's time to make the move. Okay, here we go. Start with your X's, don't start with your numbers. I taught you better than that. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, oh, look at here, look at here. We have a negative five X on both sides. 
And when you have a number on opposite sides of the equal sign and they're the same, you know what's going to happen. They're going to clear out. So those clear out. And I'm left with a negative 20 equal a negative 11. Well, isn't that nice? The coaches went walking off. We've got two uneven teams. They can't play because there's no one to direct them. They don't clear out. Looks to me like we've got no solution. There is no real number that can fit into this equation to make it work. No solution. Lost the x's, numbers don't clear out. No solution. All right, that went pretty well. Okay, let's try this one. Let's say that we have 45x minus 2 equal 3x minus 2. Now, there may have been some distribution, but I took care of it for you. Okay, here we go. Now, you know what we have to start with. Don't be looking at those twos. Start with your x's. I have chosen to do a negative 3, negative 3, because I like a positive x. If you do a negative 45, negative 45, you're going to have a negative number. We can deal with it. We'll just have to divide by a negative at the end. But I'll start with a 3x. I'm going to take away 3x, and that clears. I'm going to take away 3x. 45, take away 3, is 42x minus 2 equal negative 2. Now it's time for the 2 to move. So I'm going to go plus 2 to clear that out and a plus 2 over here. Well, that looks like 42 people are getting a uh -oh, positive 2 and a negative 2. Zero. 42 people are getting nothing for lunch. So if 42 people are getting nothing for lunch, when I divide by 42, I get nothing for lunch as well. So when we move the x's and get them in place, but the numbers through no fault of our own clear out, we're left with zero. And if a bunch of people get nothing, one person gets nothing. So to the answer to this one will be zero. I think I've taken you through all the different types of equations that can occur. So you really just need to practice a little bit more and I think you'll do fine. Thank you.